Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, still on engineering science entry, uh, working on revisions. Uh, we've got the question on hydraulics that we are going to focus on, on our revisions. On question 6.1, we are given to state uh, Pascal's principle in words. So take note, that is uh, two marks for that to state uh, the Pascal's principle in words. All right, so take note here. We are given uh, from this information that if the pressure is applied, so take note uh, from our information that we got, that if uh, pressure is applied uh, on an enclosed system, the pressure will, will spread evenly uh, through the enclosed uh, fluidity and is the same throughout. So meaning to say this uh, pressure that we are given from each point throughout, we are going to have the same uh, pressure throughout. Or we are simply saying the pressure on the surface of a liquid is transmitted with the same intensity throughout the liquid in all directions. All right, so this is uh, what we are given in this part. All right, so let's check the other part of our question, which is uh, 6.2, where we are given the following data refer to a single acting hydraulic press so this is a single acting hydraulic press uh so let us check what we have from our information we have got the force exacted on the ram we have got the plunge and so forth so as for me it's best to to just uh specify separately yes they have written the information for us but uh, let me just write uh okay what we have for the plunge so that we do not have uh, anything that is going to uh, affect us okay let, let me just change here uh we've got the force on the plunger uh okay then also the ram so the force on the ram in this case you can write as f ram or you can use the capital letter okay so on the plunger we can use the small f uh then the diameter of the plunger in this case so take note this is for the plunger which is eight centimeters change this to meters divide by one by 100 this will be 0 0,08 in meters. So that's the diameter for the plunger. Then we've got the stroke length of the plunger in this case already in meters. So the stroke length, we can refer to this as H. All right. So the question is to calculate 6.2 and the diameter of the ram plunger. All right. From this information, what would be the diameter for the ram in this case? We do not have the diameter of the ram. We can just use that one as a capital letter D to represent the ram in this case. All right. So take note. Uh, from our formulas, uh, we have got this special formula that I always talk about that F, uh, uh, if we work from uh, the RAM, we are going to have, okay, let's see if this uh, 6.21, we have got F over uh, D squared. This is uh, from the plunger. All right. Uh, from the plunger in this case, which is equal to F over D squared. Uh, that is uh, from the RAM. So in this case, we can make D the subject, or we can just substitute. We have got the F for the plunger, the force that is on the plunger in this case, which is uh, 365. So we are going to have 365 over D squared, the diameter of the plunger in this case. And the diameter of the plunger is in meters. That's uh, 0 0,08 meters, which is squared. So this is going to be equal to the force affecting on the RAM in this case, which is capital letter F, that one for the RAM, which is uh, 5,200. All right, so we are going to obtain or have 5,200 in this case over D squared. All right, so we need to calculate this diameter. That is the diameter of the RAM piston. All right, so what can we do? We can choose to cross multiply, which is fine. Since we've got fractions, we can choose to cross multiply. So this will be 365D squared is equal to, you multiply 5,200 to 0, 0,08 squared. So this will be 5,200 times 0, 0,08 squared. All right. So if you check here, we can simply uh, remove the 365. If we divide by 365 both sides, divide by 365 both sides. That means we can cancel this part and we have got... Uh, D squared equal to this part. So in order to find the value of D, all right. So we are going to have, okay, let's simplify. D squared is equal to, you simplify this part as it is. You're going to obtain something like a 0, 
one one seven and so on why list you have this value on your calculator in order for you to find d from d squared you introduce the square root the square root so you can just say the square root of the answer so the square root of the answer is going to give you something like zero comma three uh zero one nine five and so on and so on all right so to three decimal places uh this will be zero comma three uh, zero two nine is going to change one into two. That is our diameter in. So with this diameter that we have, we can be able to calculate whatever that we we need. Uh, if it is needed. All right. So on six point two two, we are now given to calculate the distance. Uh, moved by the ram. But take note, they need this distance in millimeters. All right. And after thirty pumping strokes of the plunger piston. All right. So we are given the number of uh, pumping strokes in this case, which is equal to 30. So what is going to be the distance that is uh, moved by the ram? So the distance moved by the ram, we're gonna call it uh, capital letter H. The small letter H is uh, the stroke length for the plunger in this case. All right, so take note uh, from this uh, formula uh, that uh, in terms of uh, volume, all right, we can end up, all right, we can end up having this as, Okay, that's 6.22. Remember that uh, D squared for the, this is the side of the plunger, D squared times the height times the number of pumping stroke is supposed to give us uh, D squared times H, which is uh, for the RAM in this case, which is uh, D squared uh, times H. So if you are to check here, we have got everything. So you can simply divide by d squared so that we can uh, obtain the value of h so divide by d squared by d squared that means our h in this case uh is going to be d squared uh times h times n but uh, this is uh, uh for the plunger in this case this whole part here is from our plunger in this case all right so meaning to say our h is going to give us since we are given in millimeters, you can just use normal value so that you do not confuse. Then you convert the final answer. So the D squared, that is uh, for the plunger in this case, our diameter for the plunger, we have got it here. That's 0, 0,08. So we are going to have this as a uh, 0, uh, 0,08 squared times uh, the stroke length uh, our stroke length h in this case is uh, 0, 0,1 meters. All right, so this is 0, 0,1 meters times the number of pumping strokes, which we are given 30 pumping strokes in this case over uh, d squared. So everything like we used here, it's in meters. So we are going to have our h in meters. Remember from the RAM, we obtained our d, the one that we got, we obtained uh, 0, 0,302. Uh, meters but this is squared all right so this is going to give us the value of h so our h is going to be something like uh, 0, 0,21 uh, 0, 0,5170 0, and so forth and so forth in meters so to now to convert this to millimeters you multiply by a thousand your answer is going to be in uh, millimeters so our h in this case is going to be 210 comma uh 517 this zero cannot change this which meaning to say we are having our h in uh, millimeters in this case all right so this is how we can calculate uh from the information that we had uh or the information that we are given now we are asked to calculate the liquid pressure in the system remember what we said about this that the pressure is the same throughout so for you to calculate the pressure you choose which side are you going to wake from are you going to work from the plunger or are you going to work uh, from the, the ram? Because we get to have the same thing. All right. Remember that pressure is simply equal to force over area. All right. So this is 6.23. Our pressure is equal to the force over the area in this case. So depending with which part, that's what I'm saying. If you use uh, the ram in this case, let's say you decide to use the one for the ram. This is going to be the area for the RAM because it is the same. If you decide to use the force over area, depending from uh, the plunger in this case, you can use that. So we are going to obtain 
uh, the same answer in this case. All right. So it depends with which one I'm going to choose. So it's for me, I'm just going to choose the plunger in this case. All right. So our pressure is going to be equal to force over area. So I'm going to take the force that is uh, on the plunger, then the area on the plunger. Remembering that area is pi d squared over 4. All right. We have the force on the plunger in this case. So like I said, I'm taking the plunger. So the force on the plunger in this case is uh, given as, all right, we have it here. Uh, the force on the plunger is 365. So we are going to use 365. All right. So this is going to be equal to 365 over the area, which is uh, pi d squared. So it's pi times uh, the diameter that we have on the plunger. It's it's uh, the reason why I'm choosing the plunger is because this is the original diameter that we are already given. Yes, you can use the RAM, but remember you calculated this. And so yes, you can use that. It's fine. But uh, uh, you just choose the one that you want. All right. So in this case, I'm going to work with the plunger. So I'm going to take the diameter that corresponds also to the plunger, which is uh, zero comma, oh, sorry, the diameter of the plunger is zero comma zero eight meters. So that's zero comma zero eight. So we are going to have from our formula pi d squared, which is zero comma zero eight squared over four. So remember, this is our area. So meaning to say at the end, our P uh, for pressure is going to be something like seven two uh, six one four comma four four three which is uh measured in pascals in this case all right so depending with the units of measurement you can convert this to kilopascals all right so we are not given a condition here we are just to calculate the liquid pressure so you can leave your answer in pascals or you can convert this to kilopascals all right so this is how you can calculate the uh, it so like i said you could have used the force on the ram if you use the force on the ram you use the area for the ram you're supposed to obtain an approximate answer uh which is not exactly the same as this one because uh remember this one is a rounded figure so it's not going to give us exactly the same answer but it will be approximate to that one that we are having all right so that's what we had guys uh from uh, hydraulics uh, uh that is from Amazon african motives till we meet again